Kwan Williams has a high ankle sprain. He also may have played his final game with the 49ers. Kwan Williams, so that's what Kwan and Jaquaski Tart have in common, the fact that they're on the way out, most likely. That's it, though. That is all they have in common because what I what I see from Kwan Williams is one of the better players the Niners had the last three and a half seasons. One of the better free agent signings this regime made. And I think it might have been the first signing they made. Kwan Williams. He was an undrafted free agent in Cleveland. Kyle Shanahan was with them there. He had some good seasons, but they had he almost fell out of the league. He had an injury issue. Uh, he had to – it was weird. He missed a season. He came here. He's been terrific. So real quick, I just kind of roasted Jaquaski Tart, who, you know, we I love you, Jaquaski. Let's give K1 Williams his due. In in three and a half seasons with the 49ers, he played, uh, let's see, 49 games, okay? So he played 49 games with the 49ers in four years, almost what Jaquaski Tart did in six years. In those 49 games, Remember, he's only a part-time player. He only started 27. He's a nickelback. Intercepted three passes, broke up 11, forced six fumbles, recorded three sacks, 164 tackles, 12 tackles for loss, six quarterback hits. Pretty good player. The Niners certainly got their money's worth. Uh, and the reason I say he won't be back next year, he's old and injury prone. I think his body's starting to break down. He's 29 now. He'll turn 30 in July. He's five foot nine. His body's starting to go. There's no shame in that. I'm always the guy who says, I think cornerback is the most important position on a team, on the entire football team, corner. But the issue with cornerbacks are that they kind of fall apart around 29, 30. You have to be the most athletic player on your team to play corner. Because you're covering the best athletes on offense. And once you get to 29, 30, 31, 32, you're just not the best athlete on your team anymore. Take it as some take it from someone who's 32. I'm so slow. And I used to be the fastest player in the world. I used to be the fastest person in the world. I really so fast. Now I'm not. And it's because I'm 32. Not for any other reason. I was really, really, really fast. So 32, K1. I don't know. He'll probably get another job somewhere else, but the Niners need to start looking to the future. So I don't know what they'll do, whether they'll sign DJ Reed. They don't have a young nickelback that they've been grooming. It was DJ Reed. And then they waived him because they thought they had to. He was injured. Seahawks picked him up. Um, real quick question from Kyler V. Will we ever see D Ford in a Niners jersey again? I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no. I'm, players who have see, played their final game in a Niners uniform. I'm thinking Richard. No, not Richard Sherman. He's going to come back. He needs to play a few, a few more. I'm going to get to Richard Sherman. K1 Williams, Jaquaski Tart, D Ford. Never will play again for the 49ers. In D Ford's case, they're going to need to cut him next year. They can't keep paying him to not play. That's what they've done. They've paid him $33 million to not play. 272 snaps uh, total, two seasons with the Niners, not counting the playoffs. No, he's got to go. D Ford, never see you again. K1. So the Niners got to find a strong safety. They got safeties. They got to find a nickelback. Maybe it should be Jimmy Ward. Maybe the Niners should move Jimmy Ward back to nickelback and play Tervarius Moore at free safety and play Marcel Harris at strong safety. You know, I would like to see that. If this season goes sideways and the Niners can't win anymore, enough of Jimmy Ward at free safety. He's a decent free safety in the sense that he makes no plays, but he's kind of versatile and he allows you to Disguise coverages. Fine. Play him at nickel. Play him as a designated tight end coverage guy and put more in Harris at free safety. That's the future there. Jimmy Ward isn't young either. He's not durable either. I mean, Jimmy Ward, how, is he going to finish the season? We'll see. So K1, a, a certainly a respectable 49ers career if it goes no further. He deserves your respect. Jaquaski Tart, I would consider him sort of a nondescript 49ers career. Like in a couple of years when he's long gone, you'll look back and be like, wow, he was their starting strong safety for six seasons. That really came and went fast. I almost don't remember it. I mean, two years from now, if I said quick, what was the best play Jaquaski Tart ever made with the Niners? You're going to be like, 
Who? I don't remember that player, let alone any, any plays he ever made.